Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.1.1 to everyone. And this came in for most people around 53.5 megabytes. Now let's take a look at the build number. You can see the build is 15B150, and this particular build really only does a couple of small things. There's a bunch of bug fixes in the background, we think, but basically it does one thing, which is fix when you would type an A, and maybe it auto-corrected to A with the little question mark. That's been resolved in this particular update, so that's fixed, should be fixed on all devices. And it also updates an issue where Siri or the keyword when you want to wake it up, hey, and then the name, uh, that would not work properly and might lock up or freeze or not work. That's resolved in this particular update as well. And with this update, there's not any really big additions or anything like that. Everything feels fast, it's smooth, and they basically didn't do a whole lot other than those two things. Those were pretty annoying. They gave a workaround, which really wasn't great, and then instead told us to wait for the update. So now the updates here, it fixes those two little things. And also today they released the Clips app with an update. This is their app where you can make things uh, with your camera, for example, but let's go to scenes and this is what's new. They added these scenes so you can see here's the camera and myself and we can change between the scenes and it replaces the whole background with whatever you want. So it's pretty interesting. You can see now I'm 8-bit and the camera's 8-bit. It's pretty neat looking and there's a bunch of different ones and it's a free app so it's neat and worth checking out. So definitely check that app out. It's free and that's it. Now I did do a benchmark and the benchmark was pretty good. It's 10,186 for multi-core, 4,237 for single core. That's on the current out or update. The previous one is, is comparable depending on which score we're talking about. They're very similar. So everything seems to be fast. It's working well, and it should work well just to fix those few little issues. I would expect iOS 11.2 out probably within a month or so. We're not really sure how many betas there will be, but at this point, we're just waiting for that one to come out when they update the wallpapers and a couple other things as such as Apple Pay peer-to-peer -peer through messages. But right now, that's not in this beta, and iMessage in the cloud isn't in this, or isn't in this update, rather. It's in the beta, and iMessage in the cloud isn't in this particular update or the beta. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.